Hello there, it's Andrew Lynch and we have got uh, a video this week that's talking about your foot action, checking your foot action. And uh, let's have a look at Rory here, he's uh, practicing and hitting some shots with Shot Tracer. So as you can see that uh, it's a beautiful swing and it's going exactly where it should do. But here's the thing, I'm actually just pausing it there. I'm looking at this. So I'm looking at that area there. Now, if I was a newbie to golf, I would say, okay, so I've got to, my, my, my foot has to stay at 90 degrees and I, my body then can kind of like, you know, move that way, you know, going round uh, and that's what it's got to be. Well, here's the problem. Uh, just going to get rid of those is that not many people can keep their foot like that. Uh, and, I mean, Rory's just obviously can. Now, here's the thing. If you can without trying, that's fine. Rory's not trying to keep his foot square. He's just doing it. So let's just play that again. Now, why is this a problem for some people? Well, let's have a look at my good self here. And again, we're looking at here, my foot. Not a perfect circle, but this is where you're looking. And if you look through the swing, you'll see how at the end, my foot is now straight at the target. Strike was good, but completely different to Rory. Uh, and so you could say, well, you know, what did Manuel do? Well, let's have a look at what Manuel did. And... This is Manuel swinging the club. Again, we're just trying to keep an eye on that uh, front foot here. So keep an eye on that kind of area. I'll just get rid of that so you can see it. Now, beautiful strike there by Manuel. But as you can see, his foot has also stayed pretty much 90 degrees to where the target is. Obviously Manuel was flexible. So you could be saying, well, what is right? What is wrong? Well, just clear that. I'll let you have a look at his swing because I always think it's good to have a look at Manuel's swing. So I'm just going to play that on. Here we go. So let's have a look. Oh, one more time, but Manuel. Let's have a look at the king. He's just finding the king. Ding, 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 ding. Here we go. So, let's have a look. So again, Arnold Palmer, he's in his peak here, and he's just going to rip at this ball. And as you can see, the camera moves, but we can still see that his foot is now straight at target. And, you know, I'll play that through one more time without the... Uh, circle but you know where you're looking now and just to back it up here's a couple of swings of the big bear Jack Nicholas so just watch these through looking at his lead foot again this one especially you see it's sliding round 
not quite as much as Arnie, but that front foot is sliding round. So why is that uh, so different? It's because Jack, Arnie, me, we're not flexible. It's a bit strange putting my name in with those two legends, but we both, basically, we don't have a flexible front foot. So you have uh, the swinging motion demonstrated by Manuel there is, you know, uh, and here's me, you know, uh, the rear view is basically, I cannot do the swinging motion if I don't let that front foot, you know, my front foot basically wants to kind of spin round. It, you know, it, it can't stay there. It has to spin round so I can have a movement. And the movement I'm talking about is, see, if I take this back, if I don't turn my front foot, I will basically... Now there, you think, well, it's, it's not moved much, but the weight is already going onto the heel, and it, it's basically letting my hips open. And if I don't let my hips open, the club is going to be basically flip released. What Arnie and Jack and myself realised is that we can't have a solid front foot like a, you know, a lot of other people because we just won't clear our hips. See, this foot action is whether it spins round or it basically stays straight like Rory does not matter. What matters is you're doing what your body wants to do. Now, looking using an arrow here, my foot action is actually pushing that way. So that front foot is pushing that way. And that pushing with my foot basically makes my hips turn. I don't try and turn my hips. Remember the great saying by Jack Nicholas and Tiger Woods. They both made the same statement. They never have never tried turning their hips. It's your feet that turn your hips. So your foot action will determine your hip action. But if you're trying to be, if I tried to be Rory McIlroy, I would fail miserably because I would not be rotating my hips enough. And I'm not a huge rotator of the hips anyway, so I sure as heck don't want to make it even worse by trying to keep my foot planted and still, because that's what Rory does. It's not what I can do. So basically let that front foot spin round. And, you know, when you look at Arnold here, you know, it's just, this may, you may think this is not a swinging motion. It is a swinging motion. It just looks, you know, see, he doesn't try and keep his foot down because he can't. And his, his weight has shifted beautifully. Now look at that proper foot action there. And he's now, at this point, he's transferred the pressure, obviously, way back onto his front foot but he's actually pushing away this way he's not pushing he doesn't go up no no he's pushing that way very violently and that's what got Arnold's hips open was that foot action so correct foot action is very important because that enables us to open our hips, which creates a stable, more repeatable golf swing. It's not a flip release. So a lot of people are bothered about turning their hips. There you go. And it's just, you see, they're through and then bang, let that foot go. Because if he'd not let that foot go, he'd have probably torn his ankle. 
So when you go to the driving range, all of you can video your swings now. See what your feet are doing. It, your, your foot action, to take this back for Arnold here, you sure as heck don't let your foot move in this way. No, not at all. Your foot has to go the arrow that I just drew this way. That's the pushing motion and that will get your hips open. So you can look at some fine swings like we've just looked at Manuel. And I think we should look at Manuel again because it's always nice. And the swinging motion, yes, beautiful, but doesn't mean, the swinging motion doesn't mean you try and keep your foot planted because Manuel did. Manuel can because he's got flexibility. If you haven't got flexibility and you try keeping that foot down, the swinging motion will break down. So correct foot action is very important and I want you to check that in your, you know, when you go to the range, you're in your garden, just film yourself, see what your feet are doing because the feet really determine how the hips turn and so, you know, and if the hips turn, then you're creating that stable hitting area into the ball. So just wanted to... Uh, show you this and uh, I think I'll show you uh, Jack Nicholas one more time really not bothered about having a flat front foot at impact so from Andrew Lynch trying to keep it simple we're talking about a swinging motion but you can only do the swing in motion if you let your body has to do what it needs to do. Don't try and copy a modern player if you haven't got the exact same physicality and flexibility as that player. So, hope this helps. Please press the like and subscribe. Uh, and till next time, take care and get back to me with your uh, comments and what you found by having a look at your swing. Take care.